and I've just realised that this is on back to front. I looked at it in my camera and I thought that doesn't look right. And I, it must have been pulled over the model's head and then put away um, back to inside out. Because I just pulled it out of the bag it came in. It was stuck it straight on my dress form. And I realised it was inside out. Right, there we go. That's better. Okay, let's get started again. Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops online and in person and I sell yarn through my website yarnmedic.co.uk. You can find all the links to everything I'm going to talk about including all my social media, how to sign up for my newsletter and all that kind of stuff below this video. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about the new issue of Knitting Magazine. It is issue 244 and it is out in the shops on the day that this video goes live. Um, and it's a really great issue, especially because that's my design on the cover. So um, the samples arrived back about a week ago, I think. And then the magazine arrived a couple of days ago. And I was quite excited to see the um, magazine um, and see that my design was on the cover. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my two designs in this issue. So this design and my other design in this issue. Um, and talk about the yarns I use and why I chose those yarns and then I may give you a quick look at what else is in this issue we'll see how we do time wise because um, I don't want this video to be too long so welcome to today's video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing I have got my window open because it is quite warm and muggy today it was sunny earlier we have got some rain forecast in the next two hours and at the moment it looks like it might start to rain um, it's been very hot and muggy and uncomfortable this week um, so I have left the window open because I'm still feeling quite warm so let's talk about this design first this is the design on the cover um, this is knitted in Blacker Yarns Lioness so Blacker Yarns is a local to me yarn company they are an independent small uh, mill and they're based about 20 minutes from where I'm sitting, uh, 20, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how many tractors you get stuck behind. There's a quite narrow lane. So they're based in Launceston in Cornwall, which is the neighbouring town to where I live. So this um, is a quite nice summer design, but you can also wear it uh, in autumn and winter. And I'll talk about some ideas for making your kind of summer knits last all year, really. But let's talk about this first. So this was knitted by one of my sample knitters. In fact, both of these designs were knitted by my sample knitters, to which I'm very, very grateful. Um, I couldn't do what I do without my sample knitters. So this was knitted from the bottom up in the round. So there are no side seams. It's knitted in the round to the underarms. Then the front and back are knitted separately to the shoulders. So if you wanted to add length or shorten it, it is kind of like hip length. But if you want to add length or shorten it, you would want to do that here. This is just knitted straight up in the round. And it is a lacy rib pattern, very, very simple lace. So even if you're fairly new to lace, this is not too difficult. And it has like pearl stitches in between. So it's like a lacy rib pattern. Um, and then I knitted the front and back separately to the shoulders, joined the shoulders by working a three needle cast off and then picked up stitches around the neckline and around the armhole and did a few rounds of garter stitch. And it also has, I oh know it doesn't. I was going to say it has garter stitch at the bottom, but it doesn't. It goes straight into the lace pattern at the bottom and it doesn't curl at all. Um, I can't remember if it did before I blocked it. I did block this like wet block it because of the fact that it's lace. Um, it's, the yarn is not like super soft but it does soften up a bit as you work with it and it does soften up a bit as you wash it. 
I don't know how much it softens up as you wear it because quite often linen will soften as you wear it. Linen is not usually a super soft fibre but it can soften in my experience as you handle it and wear it. And this has got Falklands wool added to it. So it's a 50-50 Falklands wool um, linen blend and it's four ply. They do it in a DK as well I believe. And this is the hematite colourway and it comes in 50 gram balls and I really like this design it's a nice uh, easy summer design wear it over linen trousers over skirts over leggings with shorts it's very versatile I used to always think knitting for summer in England is a bit because I mean last summer was cracking we had fantastic weather but normally summer here can be a little bit um and reliable and we don't always get that much warm weather so I've always been a little bit dubious about knitting for summer but something like this you can actually wear all year round so, so depending on how confident you feel you can just wear it with a bra top underneath if you feel like you need a little bit more coverage then maybe just get like a vest top like those strappy vest tops and wear that underneath or with a blazer to work or with a denim jacket to go out in an evening or on over the weekend so these tops even though they are kind of summer tops it's not just for summer in my opinion so there are ways so you can make this last all year round if you pair it with other things um, you could also probably in the winter like wear it over a long sleeve t-shirt so this is my first design from this uh, month's knitting magazine and it is on the cover um the theme of this issue is eco-friendly yarns or ethical yarns. I chose this yarn because it is a local to me yarn company. Let me read what it says in the magazine about this yarn. Um, it says carbon absorbing and almost entirely waste free. Linen is both sustainable and an ethical fibre. In this lovely summery tank top, it is blended with British wool and knitted in the round with an all over lace pattern from the underarms up the front and back are worked separately and the shoulders are joined by working a three needle cast off. I must admit, I when this came back to me, it was inside out. I think I put that clip at the beginning of the, this video. Um, and this is the, with it right way out. It has actually been photographed inside out. This is not the first time this has happened and it is easier for this. It's probably been maybe tried on the model, taken off and then put back on again. And because it's knitted all in one and there are no seams and the um, three needle cast off at the shoulder is very, very subtle and you can't really see it on the wrong side. Mainly also because this yarn is a bit kind of, um, because of the blend of different fibres, it's got like a bit kind of mild effect to it, I would say. It's not like a completely solid colour because of the different fibres. So because linen and wool take colour very differently. So... I'm not blaming the team at Knitting Magazine for photographing this inside out and it's not the first time it's happened to me. It's happened a few times before but the photograph in the magazine is actually inside out. Um, so this is the right way out. So if you think this is looking different or if you're looking at the one in the magazine and thinking it is inside out and it is inside out on the cover as well. Um, never mind. You can still see the lace, but this is what it looks like the right side out. So if you think it looks different, that's why. Um, it's a brib, so it's a lace, kind of this arrow lace pattern separated by pearl columns. And in the magazine, the lace is not as defined and it looks like knit columns in between. Um, these things happen. <laughs> it's just a shame when they go on the cover. Never mind. Um, it happens. It's happened before. It's not the first time. It's an easy mistake to make. I put it on the dress form and it wasn't until I started filming that I realised that it was inside out and then I moved it and then I picked up the magazine and realised that that was inside out. Never mind. Anyway, I love this top. Um, the yarn is local to me, which I like. I like using black yarns. I'm actually knitting with a different black yarns at the moment for a future issue of a magazine. So after a quick change, I have the other design on my dress form. So this is what the pictures look like in the magazine. I really like this design. Again, this was knitted by one of my sample knitters. Again, this is a seamless design. So it is knitted from the bottom up. It starts with a few rounds of garter stitch. Then it's knitted from the bottom up to the underarms. And then here at the underarms, you actually cast on stitches for the sleeves. So 
yes so it's knit the stitches are added at the end around knit to the top and then you do a three needle cross off across the top of the sleeve and the um shoulders it has an all of a lace pattern very simple lace pattern gives you like these little like v-shaped lace patterns and again it is about a hip length i think uh slightly kind of oversized a little bit roomy um i use manas the uruguay silk blend so the brief was uh eco and ethical friendly yarns so the reason i chose manas the uruguay silk blend uh, was because Manos of Uruguay is an ethical fair trade company. So I'll read what it says here. Manos of Uruguay was formed in 1968, so it's a year older than me, uh, with the aim of improving the life of rural women in South in the South American countries so in Uruguay and creating garments and yarns that are beautiful, ethical and sustainable. Each, year, each skein carries a tag with the artisan signature of the woman who made it and the name of the village where her cooperative is located. So it provides work for local women in Peru, uh, sorry, in Uruguay. And if you look at the label, this is a different colorway. If you look at the label here, it's got their signature. Um, so this has got the name of the person uh, who made it and the location um it's written by hand so i can't actually read it but i do think that is quite nice it's hand dyed each skin is unique there is variations between each skin because they're hand dyed so each skin is unique it comes in a great range of variegated colorways and solid colorways um i have a small selection of them in my online shop if you would like to purchase this yarn from me but i don't have enough let me know which color you would like and i can order it in for you so just send me an email um one thing you do get with hand dyed yarns um down here is fairly sort of variegated and then it, when you come up here can you see how it pulls a little bit that is because stitches were added at the bottom here it was knitted in the round and then up here stitches were added and it was knitted back and forth and that will create a little bit of pooling you can minimize that pooling and possibly eliminate it by alternating skeins i didn't ask my sample knitter to do that um because i wasn't sure how it was going to pull but if pulling worries you or you don't like it you can alternate skeins you can do that on the section that's knitted in the round as well basically it means that you do one round or row from or two one round or two rounds one or two rounds or two rows i would probably do from one skein and then the same from another skein so when you're knitting in the round you can do a round of each you can also do something called helical knitting I had to think for a second there what it was called um if you're knitting back and forth it's easier to do two rows because then you can just change the color on the same side every time um and that will eliminate um some of this pooling i don't actually mind a bit of pooling it doesn't bother me um but i know that some people don't like it so if you're looking at the pooling and you think i don't really like that then you can just choose a more solid color they're not completely solid because they're hand dyed, so they do have a slight variation in them, but it wouldn't pull like this. But if you um, don't like the pulling, then just alternate skeins. You could knit the body in the round just from one skein and then alternate just for the top bit when you're working back and forth. This yarn is one of my favourite yarns to work with. When I first started designing, I used this yarn quite a lot for magazine designs, and then I also did some work for the yarn company I used to distribute it. And when they went out of business, I kind of lost track of Mons of Uruguay for a few years, and then I discovered them again a few years ago, and I absolutely love working with their yarns. So I'm quite excited to have rediscovered them, and I have used them a lot. If you're a regular viewer on my media videos, you will know that I've used them a lot and um, I knitted quite a few brioche cows in my little Uruguay silk blend last winter so it is a yarn I really really like. That is the picture so I really like the photos in this design so let's just have a quick look at what else is in this uh, issue. I'm just going to look at the pattern pages because Knitting Magazine puts all the patterns in a separate section at the back and they quite often add some different photos there and I think there were some other photos so let me just quickly find it and show you what the other photos look like so i've got to try and show you this without showing you the pattern so that's this sweater so you can see a close-up of the sleeve close-up of the top of the body and the, and the 
and the back. Okay, I don't know how easy it is to see that. And there is a schematic as well with all the measurements. Um, and then this one, this one they, they don't have, they don't really show any close-ups of the other design. It's just the, hang on, let me just see if I can manage to do this out showing all the pattern. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm just sitting here editing the video uh, and I realised I forgot to mention this. So this is a little booklet that came with the magazine. It's a knitting workshop summer shawls and it has create your own kite and boomerang shawls and it has some how to create these shapes and then a few patterns and it's actually quite good so that came with a free gift with the knitting magazine and then also at the end of the video i will add a blocking tutorial for how i block the monost or uruguay video so that'll be right at the end um so that is issue 244 of knitting magazine it's in the shops in the uk from today i believe and my design for these this issue is this top by monost or uruguay and this top from Blackie Yarns uh, Lioness, which looks like that when you show it the right way out. Um, these things happen. I'm not worried about it. Um, I don't think most people will notice it. Let me know if you buy the magazine. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.